Hello guys, so today's video is about the posterior fossa arachnoid cyst. So posterior fossa arachnoid cyst is another cause of abnormal posterior fossa fluid collection. Ultrasound features that favor a posterior fossa arachnoid cyst include asymmetric location of the fluid, round cyst margins, the dandy walker cyst tends to be more triangular, and uh, the cerebellar anatomy is normal or there is uh, in block displacement and compression of the cerebellar hemispheres in the absence of splaying of the cerebellar hemispheres or vermian defect mass effect of from the cyst can cause hydrocephalus and displacement and compression of the cerebellum resulting in non visualization of the cerebellum on antenatal ultrasound so this image is an example of posterior fossa fluid collection. You can see that mass effect from the cyst has resulted in hydrocephalus indicated by the short arrows and non-visualization of the cerebellum due to displacement and compression. Now in this image you can see another example of posterior fossa arachnoid cyst. You can see that there is a large fluid collection in the posterior fossa indicated by the long arrow which is displacing and compressing the cerebellum indicated by the short arrow. You can see that there is no cerebellar splaying and the cerebellar vermis is intact. So this sums up my video. Please subscribe to my channel and inshallah I'll come up with more such interesting content. Thank you.